Part of my job here at CNN Money is test driving the manufacturer's new vehicles. And just by coincidence, today I'm starting several days with the Lexus GX460. In case you missed it, this is the vehicle that Consumer Reports just came out with and said, this thing is a safety risk. They found it can skid sideways under certain conditions under in high-speed turns. Okay, so you might wonder, am I worried about getting into this SUV after a Consumer Reports said? No, not a lot. I'm not usually hot-dogging it that way in a mid-sized truck-based SUV. So I don't think I'm endangering myself as long as I keep in mind what they said and take it easier on the curves. But I want to see what this thing's really like to drive aside from that. Let's take a look. In a way, the Lexus GX is almost the last of a breed, of a dying breed, because most car manufacturers these days have gone into making car-based crossover SUVs, not real truck-based SUVs. This isn't a real popular segment right now because most folks are realizing, you know what, I never go off-road. I'd rather have a smoother ride and better handling and give up some of that off-road capability. But Toyota's got a market for vehicles like this because in other countries, like in Africa, they sell a version of this vehicle under the Land Cruiser name where it spends pretty much full time bang banging around on, uh, on trails. In this country, this is a vehicle for someone that wants a real SUV, but wants all the luxury of a Lexus. They want something that has towing capacity, maybe even a little bit of off-road capacity, and they don't mind a little bit of a bumpy ride. I'll tell you, I certainly don't mind the ride quality. I think it's very nice. Uh, I think the ride quality in some of the other Lexuses, like the RX, is almost sounds funny, but almost too smooth for my taste. I like to feel the road a little bit. Uh, in this one, you actually can. And it's not bad. Well, one of the downsides of, of being a truck-based vehicle with a separate frame is the vehicle is heavier, and that does impact your handling, especially at, at high speeds. Uh, it's not a surprise that if the stability control weren't working perfectly, that this vehicle might go into a skid going at high speeds uh, down, say, an off-ramp an off or around a curve. Still, suffice it to say, the vehicle does have electronic stability control and that is supposed to prevent skids like that from happening so no question about it uh, the engineers at Toyota do need to get on top of that and they do need to fix that problem and bring that back under control